Hello everyone, my name is Sonsexist, and welcome back to my Pokemon Expert Emo version walkthrough. In the last episode, we pretty much got to the Pokemon League, the building itself, and so forth. In this episode, we are going to challenge the Elite Four, at least one of them. Alright, so let's show my team right now, uh, even though it's going to be showing on the very bottom of the screen. Now, Berserker has not changed, of course. Same moveset, same everything. Uh, level is not has changed or anything. Maybe I should get some items, but I'll do that later. Carnage is the level 70, uh, 67, has the same moves as always. Alexam, aka Oranges, lost Flash and got Fire Punch instead. Um, this was one of the moves that I was gonna get. Um, if you don't know, Fire Punch, Fun Punch, and Ice Punch, I believe they're all special attacks, if not just Fire Punch and Fun Punch itself. So, this is quite beneficial for Oranges because high special attack means good damage for it, and Fire Punch works, so yeah. Bacon has not uh, changed at all, and Ninja lost False Spike for to Protect because, well, I might be doing some random crap, and Rayquaza lost Rest. Um, if you're playing with me, uh, it will have Rest, but I got rid of that for Hyper Beam. Now, I will get some items here in a second, I'm gonna get rid of, uh, actually Ninja doesn't need to get rid of that. Oranges needs to keep that. Uh, Mixed water, leftovers, quick. It doesn't even need quick claw, okay? G come on. Take that away. Uh, let's give something else. Okay, so I'm gonna give it the lax increase that lowers the accuracy for the opponents. It is kind of cheap, but whatever. And I will also give Requaza something. Requaza, 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 something. I don't know. I'm just. I don't. No, don't get. I guess I'm not. Alright, so let's go in. Ready? Let's start. Beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth. Alright, let's go. And welcome to the inner side thing of Pokemon League things. Yeah. Alright, meet this guy, the guy that has no hairs up at the middle. Welcome, Challenger! I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good! Looking real good! Alright, you and me, let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League! And let's begin our first official Elite Four match! Alright! Sydney is a Dark Type user, starting off with an Umbreon. It is a level 80, its weaknesses are bug fighting. So, oh, what do you want to do? Uh, I would originally go with Brick Break, but it has the moves that's moon, Moonlight, um, yeah, Moonlight, Reflect, uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't go too far, but those are one of the two defensive moves. Now, I am trying my best to lower its defense while it's uh, doing a Reflect, but of course I have Brick Break to counteract that. Uh, reflect so that I can shadow the wall and so forth and do as much damage as I can. It will use Moonlight in a second or not. Okay, here's another move. Crunch. Crunch is one of the strongest moves. It can do quite a bit of damage like that. I'm going to go and... Uh... Uh... Brick Break again. I guess I'll Brick Break. It's probably going to go moon, uh, ugh, Moonlight so that it can heal everything. And I killed it. Nice. 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 Nice! Alright, so next Pokemon is a Coralant. It is a water and dark type Pokemon. Its weaknesses are eh, well, uh, electric, grass, bug, fighting. So, what do you want to do? I'm going to go into Ninja. I don't have someone that can use Thunderbolt, but I may change that in the next episode. I might give it to Oranges, but I'm not sure yet, and I don't think I want to either. So, we'll see. Alright, so, Ninja against Quadon, a low 82 versus a low 83, my star Pokemon versus his crab that just died and got served to Ninja because he's hungry. He's, been, he's probably just been there just the entire time, just like, can, hey, can I have some food? <laughs> Alright, so next Pokemon is a Mayana, it is an only dark type Pokemon. Uh, it will have the ability to intimidate, so be careful if you are using an attacking user or physical, sorry, physical attacker like I am right now. So, yeah. Mariana! 
weaknesses are just dark, no, not dark, it's a dark type. It's a fighting and bug type, uh, which is weak against. So, go for it. I'm using body slam, gonna lower its uh, speed by using the paralysis advantage. So, yeah, I'm gonna go and use Earthquake here just to undo my strongest attack, even though my attack is negative one right now. I'm gonna do quite a bit of damage, not really, and I'm gonna switch out now, because I can. Alright, that, that was pretty short, that was pretty short. Alright, Bacon's gonna come out, gonna go and use the Intimidate right here, lower its attack by one, and now it is not that great. Except it's using Super Fang, that's cool. Alright, so I'm gonna go and use Fly here, just gonna do as much damage as I can, and Mariana is still trying to use Crunch, but of course it missed because I am flying, but I also missed because of that, even though it is 95% accuracy, yeah, it doesn't do crap. Super Fang will do half damage, of course. I'm gonna go use Fly again. Gonna go and try to hit it. Mariana is still trying to struggle through and get the crunch off. Gonna go and use Fly hit, and we will not destroy it. However, it is still paralyzed. I'm gonna go and use the Aerialize if it's gonna heal its HP. No, it does not. Okay, it's healing with the Salad Berry. Not really. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna go use Fire Blast. Why? I might lower its attack with the freaking burn, so might as well try, right? Like, come on. So I'm gonna go and hit the fire brass right here. Gonna see if it burns or not, and it does! Nice! Nice! This battle is starting off nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so I'm gonna go and use fly here. It's gonna outspeed me, but it will miss because of my lax increase. Gonna go and fly, gonna hopefully hit in the next turn. My other is gonna get burned by the burnt, and it's using sword dance. It's gonna raise its attack. But I will hopefully connect with my fly, and it does. Gonna do enough damage to take it out in the next turn with the burned, and we are good to go. Alright, this battle is nice, nice, nice. Ice, I, I. No, I'm kidding. Alright, next Pokemon is a Shift 3. It is Grass and Dark type Pokemon. Um, I would go to my oranges, but. Uh, oranges, you're not in the greatest situation. Alright, Shift 3, like I said, is a Grass and Dark type Pokemon, it's weak to Bug, Fighting, Fire, Flying, and Ice. So, yeah, go for it. Alright, so I'm gonna go and use Fly, it's gonna do quite a bit of damage, but it is not enough to kill. It's gonna go and use Double Team here, but I do have the Aerial Ace, so I will be able to hit it regardless, and we'll take it out in the next two turns, even though it's gonna go and raise its attack. However, or Special Attack, <coughs> I'm losing my voice, by the way. I'm just talking like crazy. It's going to go and use forward sword, but I do have the Aerialize. Double team will not matter to me at all, or at least to Bacon. So I will be able to connect this move, no problem whatsoever, and be able to take it out in the next turn. That is Groot Game Shift 3, and I need to face two more Pokemon, except it's still using forward sword. Except, I don't get why they would keep using forward sword. Like, I know it's just there to stall and everything, but... Really, just let me kill it already. Thank you. Good. N nice. That's very nice of you. Very, very nice. <laughs> uh, whatever. Alright, next Pokemon. It is the Absol. Absol is a dark type Pokemon. It is weak against bug and fighting. Now, I will go into my Carnage. Why not? Because Carnage will probably go and hopefully... Uh, actually paralyze it and slow its speed and then I can switch out to something else if I need to So after all it's a little 80. Let's begin this battle. It's using torment Which is gonna force me to switch my move every turn So I cannot continuously use the same move over and over again gonna go and hit with the body salon and it does not paralyze I'm gonna go and use earthquake right here gonna go and after it's gonna be using sword stance right here Grace its attack by two I'm gonna go and connect with my earthquake gonna do quite a bit of damage But not enough to do more than what I want to do probably yeah So I'm gonna go and use body slam it's gonna go and use slash it's probably gonna kill me as well with that plus two attack No, it does not gonna go and use body slam. It's gonna do enough damage No, it will not but it will be enough for me to go and KO it if it does not heal however uh, whoops. <laughs> gonna go and use Earthquake, it's gonna heal, of course. So, back to square one. Now, Absol is indeed dangerous. You want to be careful. Now, I do want to switch out, but is there anyone good enough to survive the Slash? No, of course not. But, ugh. Okay, let's stay in. 
No, carnage, carnage, carnage. Stay. There you go. Whoops. And then use body slam. Okay, you're dead. Alright, so... Whatever. It doesn't matter. Alright, so let's go into Ninja because we cannot beat this Absol unless we outspeed it. And that is pretty obvious. We're gonna go and use Leaf Blade here and hopefully hope for a crit or a KO, which is most likely either way. And we are good to go. Last Pokemon, please. Come on, Sydney. And we gotta level up. Nice, nice, nice. And there you go. Alright, last Pokemon. It is a Cacturn. Cacturn is a dark and grass type Pokemon, same as Strift 3. How you fight it? Well, same thing as the Shift 3, which is weak against ice, fire, flying, bug, fighting. So, let's go and kill this thing off, even though I'm lowering its attack. Cacturn is just staring at me like a statue or some sort, I don't know. And it's someone knows crunch. Like, it's a freaking scarecrow, first of all. So, that, that, that makes no sense, though. I'm just saying. Anyways, it's using double team. It's not gonna matter, like always. I can always just go and use Aero Ace, and I should be okay. So, I'm gonna go and use Aero Ace here, and that is game. Good games, Sydney. Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You've got what it takes to go far. Now, go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. But, we will be doing that in the next episode. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Make sure to favorite as well and make sure to subscribe. These three things do help the channel and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye everyone.